how to use Miro easy tutorial. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get started with Miro. So let's get into it. Now, Miro is a simple tool that enables you to visually have a collaborative workspace online. So a lot of the times when we're working online, we're working in lines and docs and so much text that it becomes quite annoying and work just doesn't feel the same as it would in a visual element. And you're not able to set a visual goal or, or have like a visual element to uh, further actualize your goals. So Miro provides you with a visual platform. So to get started with Miro, all you have to do is you're going to click on sign up for free on the top right over here. And now you can get started by signing up with your name and your email, or you can also choose to sign up with Google, Slack, Apple, Facebook, or Microsoft. I'm going to continue with my uh, with my sign up with Google. So I'm just going to click on over here to simplify my sign up process. And we're just going to continue on over here to our dashboard on Miro. And this is really great for teams that are working in design or something like that. So we're gonna name our team, which is going to be maybe uh, design team and I'm going to use this for personal you're going to add your role which could be um, which could just be student and what best describes you as business owner and what is your company size and then if you've used any kind of visual tools before and then we're just going to add all of this information and now after that you can just copy this and send this to your teammates you can also choose to invite them via the gmail contacts or invite them from slack i'm going to skip this for now after that you're going to answer what are your basic goals that you want to accomplish with miro currently so let's say um, if you want ideas and brainstorming research and design mapping and diagramming agile workflows strategy and planning meetings and workshops. So let's say we want strategy and planning to be our main focus on Miro. So this will just help you in having a more customized or more optimized experience on Miro. So you can see not only that, once you do that, once you finish your registration process, they're going to give you a few templates that you can get started with. So on your left, you can click on all templates and choose any one of these templates to get started with, or you also have a use cases. So you can see for certain purposes, they have uh, created certain templates that will enable you to have a better idea. If you don't know how to get started, you can just pick out a template. So let's say we have brainstorming and ideation, and you can just use any one of these templates to better help you in uh, drafting your ideas. So let's say we're going to use this. We're going to click on use over here, and then you can choose whether you're using your mouse or your trackpad just like this. So you can see we've added a simple little workflow over here. Now what you're going to do is we're just going to scroll down and scroll like this. So we're just going to do right click and right click to move like so. I'm just going to place this over here. And what I'm going to do, right click and drag to move. So you can see over here that we have quite a few different things uh, added in our space. This was the template. So I'm just going to delete these sections over here You can just select this and choose to remove it as well. I'm going to click on delete and now I'm just going to move back over here and now I'm going to zoom in. So you can see I have this little section. First off, I have a title. I have this basic overview section, which could be the topic, what we're looking to do. Then we have our work area, which could enable you. You're, you're going to zoom in as much as you can. So you can add different stickers to enable a certain kind of uh, title. So let's say if you want all of the people that are working on maybe the shoe design or the shape of the shoe to use a red sticky note to work over here, you can enter that as well. Then you have different groupings and definitions as well. So idea, idea, question, whatever it might be. You can use any one of these templates, but if you don't want to use a template, we can just delete all of this to get started with our own section. So we're just going to click on over here, remove all of the excess things that we don't need. So I'm just going to select these and I'm going to zoom into my board over here. And in my first board, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rename it first on the top left over here. So this could be for marketing ideas. So I'm just gonna add this board as marketing ideas. And now you can see on your left, you have all of the tools that you need to add different templates, to add text, to add sticky notes, to add shapes, 
arrows, connections, pens. Then you have other tools such as icon finders, mind maps, Kanban boards, diagramming, images, stickers, emoticons. Then you also have things like cropping, framing, comments, uploading different content onto your board as well. Then on your top, you also have application integrations and you can also export this board onto different platforms. And then on your right, we have a timer, voting. We also have a visual aid presentation that you can do. And you also have tools such as notes and more applications where you have chat and video chat options. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to start by creating a simple board. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on over here in more tools. I'm going to search for Kanban and I'm just going to take Kanban and open this up. So as you can see, this is our first red frame. And if you click on it over here, we can add different information and then we can add our second frame to it as well. So you can just click on add new frame, add new frame. So you have different phases of work. And now you can see I added a Kanban view onto the first one as I just showed you guys. And now I'm going to move the Kanban to the top and then I can enlarge it like so. So I have to do in progress done. And then on frame two, maybe I could add uh, maybe I could add ideas so we can just add this like so or some anything like that brainstorming whatever you want then we can also add things like meetings whatever you might want so obviously I'm using a mouse right now if you're using your phone laptop or any other touchscreen device you're going to be far more easily able to write on these kinds of boards these are more so preferred on that I don't have a touchscreen uh, right now so that is why the writing is not going to be that great but you get the idea on how to do it now you also have text options so you can write text over here as well where you can just add you know whatever text you want and then you can also build connections so if i want to build a connection first i'm going to delete this one and i'm going to click on my text over here and i'm going to add text like uh, i'm going to expand the font and then i'm just going to type in some text which could be and then i'm going to type in some more text sales and profit and then what i can do is i can click on the connection line i can start building a connection line like this you can choose to build a straight line a arrowed line to see um, the what is going to be ending or starting this kind of uh, platform we can click on delete and i'll show you guys you also have curved lines you have these kinds of arrows available as well you can have boards like this and so on and so forth you're going to keep on designing until it meets your team's needs now if we take a look at the pricing of miro it is available for free where you can have three editable boards pre-made templates core integrations and basic attention management then you have the team version starting at eight dollars per member per month and you also have unlimited editable boards and unlimited visitors plus custom templates projects and you can also build private boards within your team on the $8 per member per month version. Then you have the business version starting at $16 per member per month, where you can have unlimited guests, Miro Smart Diagramming, Miro Smart Meetings as well, and SSO. Then there's also the enterprise version for the larger businesses. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, and I will catch you guys in the next video.